Hey everybody, it's Dr. Chapel, family practice physician in Farmington, Utah. I'm coming to you today or posting this video about uh, something new and exciting to me, uh, which is POTS after COVID. Um, we've seen uh, since the start of this pandemic, uh, folks that have these chronic conditions uh, after COVID or long-term symptoms that we're calling long haulers and that type of thing. And recently in my own patients, as well as in the medical community, um, we've started to uh, see a similarity to a condition that we've known for a long time called POTS, or postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Uh, but many f providers out there are just not as familiar with POTS or haven't treated many patients and might dismiss your symptoms as chronic COVID or psychological symptoms, anxiety, depression. Um, but this, this chronic set of symptoms can be very debilitating. And so it's important to get um, a correct diagnosis. So what is POTS? Postural, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. It affects the involuntary nervous system or the part of your nervous system that's in charge of things that you don't have control over like heart rate and blood pressure, especially going from lying to standing or sitting to standing. Um, it can cause symptoms such as severe fatigue, lightheadedness, rapid heart rate, brain fog or memory problems, headache, shakiness, chronic nausea or vomiting, and even symptoms that are similar to anxiety and depression. Uh, and that's why it, it may uh, get brushed off uh, by providers in different fields. So it is very important, however, to, to rule out other causes or diseases that might have the same symptoms. So especially we know after COVID, folks can have blood clots, and that's a very serious life-threatening condition. Uh, scarring of the lungs, pneumonia, um, other other things that happen. But once we've ruled everything out and a patient is still having these chronic debilitating symptoms, it's important that we do testing for POTS. How can you be tested? So at your, your primary care physician, your family doctor, your internal medicine specialist, uh, neurologist or cardiologist uh, can test you for these things and do testing in office for POTS. Uh, what is the treatment? The treatment is aggressive hydration, maybe change of diet, but there are medications that we typically use to help regulate your uh, involuntary nervous system and the problems that it's causing with heart rate and blood pressure and so on. Then typically experts say a physical therapy regimen would be the next steps. Um, sometimes though it's not tolerated well in the beginning and we have to work up to that. I've seen in many of my patients these symptoms and I'm now recognizing it, uh, but it has taken a while uh, to get here. So if you have COVID symptom, or if you've had COVID and you're having these chronic symptoms, please call your doctor and come in for testing. You might need to bring it up to them uh, that, hey, let's check also for POTS or how do I rule that out as well? Uh, and that's okay. We want, we want um, your help in this. Uh, also, I want you to pass this on so that we get the word out and so that all patients, long haulers, as well as physicians uh, in the medical community in general is aware of this and that we're testing for it and we can start helping folks feel better. Thank you.